So I grew up in Snohomish. Born and raised an Eastside FC player. Growing up, uh, I lived in Issaquah. I played for a ton of clubs, um, WFC, GRFC, PAC. When I went the furthest, I was with Eastside. So that was my, I want to say my U16 year. And I think it's probably one of the, the biggest areas of growth, like the team that I had the most success in. We actually ended up winning the state championship that year, so that was definitely my favorite year for youth soccer. In this path towards the collegiate level, I think my coaches really helped me develop my skill early on. Club and the premier level really helps a player focus on tactical, technical, your mental part of the game, and that's important for when you're looking into collegiate sports. My name is Pete Fewing, the head coach, Seattle U. It's my 22nd year. I'm Julie Woodward, and I'm the head women's soccer coach of Seattle University, and I have been for the past 19 years. I've coached this team through the NAI, Division Three, Division Two, and now Division One. My first year was the ninth losing season in a row, and it took a long time to build it, but we had to build the program from nothing. And look what we've done. We've been ranked for the second year in a row in the top 25. I've been asked a lot, you know, about the success of the program at Division One, and I would say a lot of it is the quality of the student athlete you have coming into the program. The university has provided the student athletes the opportunity to excel at a competitive level that matches the academic quality here. And I think when the student athletes have that experience, they don't want to settle for less. And I think a lot of it is self-motivated and self-driven as well. We're developing leaders, that's really the bottom line. Yeah, we got to win a national championship for sure. That's very, very important. But I think that's one of the things that goes unnoticed. But when you realize we've got 10 guys in the medical profession and lots of guys in law, education and engineering and business, it's really fun. To me, it's a real program and it's a really, it's a good family. I was looking for, I was interested academically and the nursing program really stood out to me and I was fortunate enough to also have the chance to play soccer here as well. This was one of my top schools and I'm very fortunate to be here. I like the idea of Washington. I like, I mean, Seattle, like right here, we're downtown and you see downtown just like less than a mile away. I think that's one of the coolest things and being close to my family, so I think having them be able to see me play is, is, was a huge reason for coming here. I make it a point to recruit the best players and the great news is you don't have to go looking very far. I'm a local, so I want to keep the local talent home. Soccer has evolved so much, specifically in the state. This is where I'm from, this is where I played as a youth player, and I just think the level of coaching that's being afforded to kids nowadays keep things so competitive here on a week-to-week -week basis. Well, I think there's talent in all the clubs. I don't think it's solely the academies that the players are going to come out of. It's, it really comes down to, are they a good fit for us and are we a good fit for them? There's a lot of talent here and if we're just sending guys away to other places across the country, it's kind of a waste. If you look at our current roster, we have PAC Northwest represented, we have Eastside represented, we have Northwest Nationals represented, we have Spokane Shadow represented, some of the ECNL clubs as well, but just a great combination of players. I have a lot of pride for Seattle. To represent this city, to play a sport for it is, I think it's super awesome. You want to represent and you want to do well for your state and so I think, yeah, there's a ton of pride for that. I'm closer to home so a lot of my family comes out to the games whenever they can and you know, I'm from here and I'm representing another school that's also from here. And I think, yeah, I think pride is definitely has something to do with it. We definitely want to win another national championship. I've coached three different levels uh, between the NAI, NCAA Division II, and then the PDL, and we've won a national championship at all three of those levels, and so I would be selling our current players short if that wasn't the goal. We've been preaching since we've been in is to win a national championship, which I think is in our grasp. 